Back here at home and coming to a stage near you, a brand new musical at Kohler Middle School. The performance takes you to a fictional town in the Wild West. Amazingly, it was written and directed by a teacher at Kohler. 1011's John Grinvald was able to get a sneak peek. He joins us live in the studio with more. Madison Cole, the show Bobby the Kid and the Tiger Gang is set in the wild, wild west, but there are no gun-toting, chew-spitting cowboys in this saloon. Instead, it's a town of pacifists who have to confront a gang of outlaws peacefully, and it's showing for the first time tomorrow. When that curtain parts and light flashes on the stage, it means it's showtime for Teresa Gormley's new musical. Packed with wide-brimmed hats and boot-slapping comedy. Ephraim Zebulon, or EZ. It's a story Teresa has her fingerprints all over. I think it's cool that my teacher wrote it during vacation. She's writer, director, and fiddler. She's been playing music with me since she was seven or eight years old, and so this doesn't surprise me. Teresa dug deep into her roots, to her memories of her father playing bluegrass music to write this. And now her father is playing right alongside her. Music's a great gift and to pass it on and to have her teach like she teaches and to have her perform like she performs, it's a good feeling. It's where Teresa's creativity met the constraints of middle school. We can't have you know, weapons or gun battles, so what if this town was a town of pacifist cowboys and from that was just born this silly ridiculous but such a fun and I think a sweet show. Teresa even let most of her students pick out their own Wild West themed character names. Well that was part of the design is it left lots of room for them to bring their own personalities and their own talent and their own voices to the story too. Teresa says she's proud to have seen her students grow into their roles in the last couple of months. That show will premiere tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Kohler Middle School Auditorium. It's open to the public and is totally free, and they're hoping for a barn-burning turnout.